In today's episode, I'm telling you about a case in a Pennsylvania community where a retired deputy sheriff's burned body was discovered in his home. Welcome to Love and Murder, Heartbreak to Homicide, the midweek mini edition. I'm your host AI Jane, while host Kai is on a mental health break. If you're new, please listen to this episode first and, if you like it, hit subscribe so you don't miss any other episodes. Also, I want to remind you that this episode, and all of our episodes, are sponsored by our lambs in Patreon. Patreon.com, forward slash love and murder. Now, let's get into this midweek mini. On June 16, 2022, at around 5 a.m., Susquehanna Township Police, in Susquehanna, Pennsylvania received a 911 call from Evelyn Zigarelli Henderson. She reported finding her husband dead on their back porch of their house, which was on the 300 block of Stewart Place, claiming he had taken his own life by, quote, starting a fire and burning himself. The interesting thing is, the dispatcher noted that, quote, something is very off with the caller. She is hesitant to answer questions. It was also noted that Evelyn had said she heard her husband calling her name and asking for help around 1 a.m., but she didn't call 911 until hours later. Now, a bit of a backstory. Evelyn had married Carmen Henderson, a former police officer who had served as the chief deputy sheriff in Dauphin County. Carmen had children from a previous marriage. Evelyn and Carmen had been married for 30 years as of this case. She was a local political candidate which started as a court clerk in Beaver County in 1983 when she was 27. Later she worked at the state auditor general's office. With a bachelor's degree in administration of justice from the University of Pittsburgh, she sought to leverage her family name in Western Pennsylvania politics. In 2011, she made a Democratic run for clerk of courts in Dauphin County but lost. In the same year, she changed her name from her married name, Henderson, to a hyphenated one that includes her maiden name, believing it would appeal to Italian-American voters. Zigarelli Henderson. Quote, Zigarelli is a powerful political name in Western Pennsylvania. Then in 2014, she lost a bid for the Susquehanna Township School Board. The next year, in 2015, she ran for sheriff as a Republican and lost again. Carmen retired in 1995 and then the couple opened Henderson Limousine Service in Harrisburg. However, they later closed it and were in debt after its closure. Now, back to the present. When police arrived at 66-year-old Evelyn's house, they came upon a gruesome scene. The badly burned and naked body of 84-year-old Carmen was found on the back porch. The condition of the body suggested that Carmen had been dead for longer than Evelyn had initially implied. The medical examiner inspected Carmen's body while at the scene and saw fly larvae in his mouth and nostrils. This told him that he had been dead for about three days. Her story then changed from suicide to an accidental death. She allegedly told investigators that he had caught fire accidentally after lighting a cigar. However, a fire investigation team determined her explanation didn't match the evidence at the scene. So, nothing about her account of the incident was adding up, and police suspected foul play. Police took Evelyn in for questioning. During her interrogation, she told police that their financial situation had deteriorated significantly. She said that she was the one who managed their finances and admitted to spending their business profits on vacation homes, day spas, and other luxuries. This mismanagement led to the closure of their limousine service and accumulation of severe debt, including a $40,000 second mortgage and delinquent taxes. There was also an impending seizure of their property by the sheriff's office and they faced eviction. Quote, Zigarella Henderson stated that she knew she would be homeless shortly. Zigarella Henderson said that C. Henderson would live with his children from another marriage. Zigarella Henderson stated she was not welcome to live with the children. Evelyn also disclosed the existence of a $10,000 life insurance policy on Carmen where she was the only beneficiary. This revelation, coupled with their dire financial straits, would later become a crucial element in the investigation of Carmen's death. Evelyn was arrested and charged with criminal homicide, aggravated arson, and arson. During their investigation, police found that on June 15, 2022, Carmen's granddaughter called him around 3 p.m. to inform him about his daughter's car accident. This was the last known contact with Carmen. 
Between that afternoon and early the next morning is when he was killed. The autopsy revealed Carmen died from thermal burns covering his entire body. Contrary to Evelyn's claim of suicide, evidence showed Carmen was relaxing in his chair when someone set it on fire from behind. He attempted to remove his burning clothes but succumbed to the flames. The case went to trial and on Friday, March 15, 2024, after 45 minutes of deliberation, the Dauphin County jury found Evelyn guilty on one count each of second-degree murder, aggravated arson, and arson. She could face life in prison. As of this recording, a date had not been set for her sentencing hearing. What did you think of this case? I think Evelyn's motive for murdering Carmen made no sense. They were more than $40,000 in debt. Why murder Carmen for a $10,000 life insurance policy? I think, because she didn't appear to be good with finances in the first place, this made sense to her, but wouldn't make sense to anyone logical. I mean, logical people wouldn't have turned to murder either. Well, that's all I have for today's episode. I'll be back for Friday's episode as well, but Kai will be hosting Monday's episode. Speaking of Monday, did you get to listen to this Monday's episode? It was an extremely baffling case and Kai left a poll question asking, who do you think is at fault? If you missed it, I have the link in the show notes below. Kai also wanted to say thank you for everyone who reached out in understanding about her current mental health issues. She thoroughly appreciates all the kind words. And, don't forget that a free way to help out love and murder is by sharing this episode. So, share it with your significant other and let them know that you would never burn them in their favorite chair. Also, share it to any true crime groups you're in. Share it with everyone you know, and everyone you don't. And that is all that I have for you today, and I'll see you in the next episode.